Tim Snyder, Logan Rivals, Dave McKnight, and Dave Iosu. All ready to come down now, picking it up between three and four. Here the motors roar as they come off the corner. Green flag is out. And it's a good, clean start down the front straight into turn number one. The Kennedy takes the lead. John McKennedy out in front in the number 21. He has been fast. Look at Abel in the 05 on the outside, trying to make a run on Allison Sloat. Sloat on the inside. Abel on the outside, takes the spot away, moves up to fourth. At the end, here's Otto Sinderly now on the outside. And the yellow is out. We've got uh, Didero. Is that Didero? No, it's a LeVay. Your race leader coming down the corner, and we got a car in trouble over there. Heavy smoke coming out of one of the cars, and it's a, a tire going. On the 01, he is going to the pits, the 01 Danny Connors. 01 Connors into the pits, another car coming in. And that is the leader, John McKennedy. McKennedy into the pits, Sitterly takes the lead. And another car up in the corner, yellow flag coming out. There is oil on the track, apparently, from the 21 of McKennedy. Danny Connors had a flat tire. 14 cars remaining on the track. The speed picks up down in turn three. Green flag is out. Here we go with a final. 21 laps of this feature event as Sitterly comes to the outside of Snyder down the front straight. Otto Sitterly gets the win. Well, guys, it's uh, no stranger to victory lane here at Oswego Speedway. And the Dakota number seven, Otto Sitterly. Otto, it's got to feel great to get this one under your belt. Picked up right where you left off last year. Yeah, a little different situation. Um, you know, it's just trying to learn this wing deal here. Looks like that's what we're going to have for now, so uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the car is good. Uh, changes a lot during the course of the day. Really tight early on, and then uh, when we put fuel on board, I, it did just what I thought. It, it got really loose, and um, I don't know. We're spraying the track. We're not spraying the track. One time we were going to do it. Next time we're not. So uh, up there, dirt track, and then the outside lane. If everybody rides on the bottom, you're going to ride around in the dirt for the last uh, October. Well, to put it in victory lane right off the bat, is this just a result of, like, total preparation in the offseason to get it here, to park it back here in victory lane? No, I think it's luck that we didn't wreck up in the dirt. <laughs> All right, guys, let's hear it for Otto Sitterly. They bring him down, hammer down here in the front straightaway. It's Cameron Rowe on the bottom part of the speedway. Cameron up there in the number one spot. Moving quickly on the outside. Tony Pisa trying to get a run on the outside, but look at down on the inside. It's Latulip, Dave Cliff. Dave Cliff with a good move. He moved all the way up to the number four spot. Sokola has now been shuffled back to the number five position. Bringing them down, Cameron Rowe going to 19844. They're all bunched together up onto the outside. Tony Pisa trying to get a run on the outside. So is Dave Cliff on the outside. Dave running in the number 50 car. He is up on the outside, now swinging on the inside. Coming off that fourth corner, a little bit of fish tailing going on. Dave Cliff and his Josh Sokolik back in the fifth spot, turning the quickest lap with a 19,493. They single out going down the back, shoot down to the net, tricky number three corner. Dave Cliff, car number 50 again, heading up onto the outside part of the speedway. Cliff hooks up, the Hoosiers hook it, and he moves up to the number two spot. The 50 car, Dave Cliff right there in the number two spot, and now looking down on the inside, drops the hammer. The small block Chevrolet rips going down that bank straight away. We got a new leader going in turn number three. Dave Cliff bringing them out of turn number four, and we got a car in trouble. So the caution will be coming out. By the way, that last lap turned in a 19.307 by Dave Cliff, but I think, I think with that caution coming out, I think they will go back to the original leader of the previous lap, but we'll wait and see. This is a new rule in the small block super modified division, except when there are five to go, and that'll be a single file. All right, green coming out.
out up there in turn number three, and we are back up to racing speed as they bring him down here in the front straightaway. It is still Cameron Rowan to 77 up there in the number one spot, but trying to make a move. And boy, I gotta tell you, some shifting around out there. Dave Cliff, who had taken that lead prior to the caution, has slipped back to the number four spot. We've got to keep an eye on that as they bring him down here in the front straightaway. Meanwhile, the tricky number 27 of Latulip up there in the number one spot. Latulip leads him away. Now watch Dave Cliff, car number 50. He's a master at going faster here at the speedway. He'll try to run up onto the outside, then he'll swing to the inside. He's running back in the number four position right now as they bring him down the front straightaway. Moves down, picks up the number three spot. Good move. Sokolik is right back there in the number five position as they rumble down the back straightaway, going down to the turn number three. Dave Cliff currently running third. Dave looking down on the inside. Dave, what a good run. Coming off of turn four, trying to get down onto the inside to pick off the number two spot. Cliff is now up to the number two position as they work going down the back straightaway down into turn number three. Still some tight racing. Remember, this is a 25-lap event here today, 19 laps to go. Tony Pisa remains second, and now it's Cliff up into the number two spot. Bringing him down five laps to go this time around. Who's it going to be? Oh, and your leader swings up to the outside for the lap car, and Dave Cliff goes down onto the inside, or rather, yes, Dave Cliff comes down onto the inside, and he takes the lead. Four laps to go. Oh, white flag is out. Your leader in the traffic comes up on the inside. Here's the 27. Trying to close in again, Latulip trying to close in, and Latulip closing in. All right, this one is going to go right down to the wire. Scorers, stand by. Down they come out of turn number four, and the win goes to Dave Cliff. Well, guys, I'm down here in victory lane. Oh, yeah. Tony White, Memorial winner. David Cliff. Dave, nice race. Uh, did you have enough to get them, or was that traffic what you really needed? I don't know. I was uh, under them a couple times on the back stretch, but, I mean, we're a little low on car count right now, so certainly want to keep all the good cars here to keep putting on a race like that. I mean, that was fun. And I know Dave and I and Anthony can race really hard, and, you know, we're not going to wreck each other. I mean, I'm, I don't know if I would have got them without that lap traffic, and it, it almost came back to bite me on the last lap there, so uh, it was a lot of fun. That's excellent. Well, congratulations, David Cliff, the Tony White Memorial winner. number 06, Anthony Lasorto rounds outside of him, and the pole sitter, Vern Lefebvre, is car number 97, going away to the hill side of the pack. All right, set to go again. Now they come off of turn number four. The green is out, looks like a good start. On the bottom, Duberty going up there in the number one spot. He pumps it down in between turns number one and two. The 10 of Michael Scott looking down on the outside. Also the 01 of Billy. Billy in car number 11 got up the racetrack there just a little bit. John Burke in car number 01 coming down out of the inside. Johnny Burke holding on to that number two spot in car number 01 and now working off at turn number two. Look at Lasorto in car number one. They had problems with that car yesterday, but it seems to be squared away right now as he promptly moves it up to the number four spot. White flag. And the checker coming out. It's going to be Stephen Dufilly taking the first feature win of the year and of the new class here at the Speedway. He is going to take the win, finishing in the number two spot. It's going to be the 01 of Johnny Burke. The 06, or rather the um, Mike Scott car number 10, is going to be finishing in the number three spot. Top three cars finishing the 25-lap feature go here for the 350 small block super modifieds. Everybody's checking their belts, checking their gauges, making sure everything is all set to go. They'll start to pick the pace up between three and four. Coming down, you've got Michael Barnes and Allison Sloat in the front row. Off the corner, Green is out, and Barnsey gonna jump out in front. Sloat will drop down behind him. 
Right there running third right now, the double zero, Joe Gosling. Bellinger is fourth, Curly up on the outside. Trying to make a run, can't make it happen up there. Champagne down on the inside of the 55. Here they go, the 44 on the outside is Otto now. Making a run in the number seven, Sinnerly in the seventh. Going to the outside of Schulich. They got him trapped behind Danny Bowes on the outside. Sinnerly loses a little ground now. Here comes Schulich down to the inside of Bowes. Michael Barnes out in front. Allison slowed, running in the number two spot. Five. Raybould now takes over that number nine spot. Raybould goes to 10th. Bowes on the outside, running in 11th. 44. Pearly is in 12th. And the yellow coming out down to the corner. He was running all by himself. Cars bunching up down the back straight. Allison slowed, getting on the hammer down in turn three. Green flag is out. Slow down in front. Bellinger going to take a look at the outside. Almost gives up too much room. Coming down to the inside, the 55 of Champagne. Champagne takes Bellinger. Now you got Didero underneath uh, Schulich. And Didero stays in the number five spot. Schulich running in sixth. Here's Abel working on Sinnerly. Jeff Abel down to the inside of Otto Sinnerly. As the cars ahead, Bellinger and Didero and uh, Schulich all got banged up a little bit down there between three and four as they got together. Everybody kept it going straight. Here's a battle for second down. Champagne looking down to the inside of Gosick. Here's Abel on the outside of Bellinger. Coming down off the corner, the 39. Allison Sloan is the race leader. Sloan. 17 laps completed now. Double zero, Joe Gosick running in second. 55, Keith Champagne is third. The three, Doug Didero fourth. 95 of Dave Schulich rounding out the top five. Right behind him, Otto Sidley in sixth. 05, Jeff Abel running seventh. 02, Brandon Bellinger is eighth. 94, Logan Rivals runs in ninth. And rounding out the top 10 is the 25 of Dan Bowes. Now she is stuck behind the 54 of Camden Proud. Goes by one, gets by Proud. Gosick had to give her room. It was bottling up fast in front of her. Here's Gosick now, looking to the outside. Joe Gosick with five to go as they come off the corner. Five to go, the passing flag is out. Here is Slow down to the inside. She goes by the 94 of Rebels, but on the out front, the 39 is slowed and made a good move in traffic. She's got a pretty much a clear track ahead of her now with four to go. Ah, uh, Camden Proud, oh, that is the 70 of Dave McKnight. Very, very slow down here. And she will have to pass him as McKnight is going into the pits. That should not be a problem. Four laps to go, slow down in front. Gosick running in second. Champagne is still third. Sitterly now trying to make a move back there on the number seven. Slowed with three laps to go. Down to the inside, the 95 is uh, 55, rather has slowed down. The 55 of Champagne coming up on the outside is the three of Didero Champagne hanging on to the number three spot. Three of Didero running in fourth. Two laps to go. Two more times around for Allison Slowed. The crowd up on its feet as Allison could become the first ever super modified feature winner here at the Oswego Speedway. Coming down, one lap to go for Allison Slowed. Slowed on the way to the victory lane. Out in front in the 39. Gosick running in second. Champagne third. Didero is fourth. And Allison Slowed is going to become the first female feature winner here at the Oswego Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, a great hand for Allison Slowed. Gosick finishes in second. Champagne third. Didero fourth. Sitterly is in fifth. Standing down there as Allison gets out from behind the wheel. Well, guys, uh, you can tell this is a very, very popular win. This is uh, didn't take her long. First week. Uh, Allison, we talked last week. You said Oswego Speedway is your favorite track. Boy, you, you proved it today. How about that? How excited are you today? I didn't think that I would do it on my second feature. Definitely thought it would come at some point this year, but here I am. You have KG veteran right behind you. He was on your, on your, you know, breathing down your neck the whole show. Yeah. Could you, could you tell he was there, or were you just focused and got on? No, I could feel him back there. I could hear him every once in a while, and I was like, man, I just got to keep pushing. I'm going to send it. So. You just sent it. You just sent it, girl, man. This is, yeah. again, guys, Jim Champagne Memorial, Allison Sloat just made history. How about another great hand for Allison Sloat?